Hey guys, it's your girl Star Mystic. Welcome back to my channel. And this is part two of <laughs> shadow work tutorial day. I don't know. This is like our shadow work workshop. So we got the frankincense going. And I am checking in with y'all. How are you? Listen, the energy's been crazy. And I know we've all been going through our process there's been a lot of adjustments there's been a lot of transformation just revelations mm, deep 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 stuff so i felt inclined to get on here and really touch on the shadow work aspect of healing because y'all know i'm here for the love the positivity and the healing that's my angle okay but there is definitely a darker side to this healing game, okay? And I'm here for it. So please check the video before this part one, if you have not, where I'm talking about shadow work. Um, but yeah, so other than that, like, let's get right into it, okay? All right, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for listening to me, okay, for tapping in. Rocking with your girl, Star Mystic. You know, I love y'all. I love my tribe. I love my people. You beautiful collective, beautiful souls. Thank you for tapping in here. So as I said earlier today, I'm going to be using the Kim Tran series. Okay, the Wild Unknown. And again, like I said before, it is I'm using these cards because of the psychological... Um, aspects that are incorporated into these very beautiful spiritual tarot and oracle cards so let's just get into it all right it's a blessed day y'all i hope you guys are feeling amazing and beautiful so let's get into a collective okay first of all i want to start by thanking the universe beautiful angels ancestors most high god Thank you for covering us as we channel these energies. Thank you for loving us and for guiding us. Okay, What are the uh, messages for the collective as we uh, tap into these energies in regards to healing our shadow selves? Doing our shadow work, spirit. Thank you. You already know. The warrior. Come on now. Thank you, Spirit. What else do we need to know? What are the energies crowning this reading in regards to our shadow work, Spirit? What do we need to know as a collective? Thank you. So we are going to start off with these. Mm. Bottom of the deck, you have the kiss and the self, okay? Okay. So with the kiss, obviously you see the love in this card. And guys, these archetype cards, they're extremely complex. So I wanted to add, obviously, you know, this is a general reading. This is a general reading for the collective. For those of us focused on some shadow work right now during this time. Now, I also want to encourage you, any messages or that you know anything like that that you receive looking at the cards or anything please take that in between the imagery and the numbers and the words i mean there's a lot of messages you can get from your own guides and your own higher self okay collective so i digress back to the reading the kiss you see the love here this is i feel speaking of love the love that is required okay the compassion and then you got the self here so this is literally says to me self-love love yourself kiaro speaks of divine timing of destiny dang i'm gonna chill because then you got the mask under here and the mirror under that so I feel like what spirit is trying to tell us right now is that all of this is in divine timing. This is all playing out. Okay, we wore our masks for as long as we were supposed to. And now we are awakening. 
when we are supposed to. And the key is to be extremely patient with yourself. You got to love yourself through it. Who is going to? Who is going to? Okay? Spirit tried to... They be putting their hands on us all day. But we have to see it. We got to open ourselves up to feel it. And this is the reason why loving yourself is way more important than anything that you can receive externally. Let me check on this for one second, guys. I just want to make sure my thing isn't burning out. Yeah, that's burning pretty quick. And then we need to add something, another one. So I'm sorry. Then um, the first card I was a warrior. And you see that snake? That's kundalini energy. I'm getting kundalini vibes. And this this skull has a jewel at the center, the third eye. Okay, we got the rainbow, which is includes everything. That's happiness, that's protection, that's life. And the snake is representing the changes, the shedding of the skin. Okay. The warrior. We are warriors. Light warriors, love and light, light. You got light workers. To me, the most of us are light warriors. Yeah, we done been through some things. Yeah, we done been taken advantage of. Yeah, we done made mistakes. But at the end of the day, you haven't gone through all of that for no reason. Okay? The strongest, most valuable, and most renowned warriors have some of the most horrifying stories you could ever hear. And that's what makes them so special. That's what makes them so strong. It's not that they're different, that they're a completely different species or a whole alien. No, this is just another person that had been through some shit and fought through it and accepted it with honor and with pride. And we got shapeshifter. The shapeshifter. You know what this says to me? Honestly, I'm not getting anything, you know, devious or anything like that. What this is speaking to me is understanding that you are in everything understanding that we are all one under you you've got to see an aspect of yourself in everything okay um being able to change and adjust shape shifters are beings that can essentially embody anything i don't think mm, let me let me let me read that reword what I'm about to say. I don't necessarily necessarily believe that it is I think the key I'm I'm sorry, I'm trying to be really careful and not touch on something that don't need to be touched on. But basically, I feel like the key here is unlocking a really deep power and strength within yourself so that you can see when you are weak when you have been weak you can see when you're strong you can see yourself in not only the enemy but in the creator not only in what's wrong but what is great don't look down on the ant because you were one once you were the ant Okay? And don't look up and see the great eagle as the majestic being that you will never become because you are that too. I hope this is making sense. I hope it's I hope you're following cuz I don't know if I understand. <laughs> I do understand myself and I know what I'm trying to say and I hope that it's making sense out there, baby. All right. Thank you spirit for these um messages thank you for this energy okay this warrior energy this shape-shifting energy 
Okay, so what I also just got was that the warrior is who you are. It's who, what is inside of you. The shapeshifter is what you let everyone see. It's how you may come off to the world or you, uh, you're, you're quickly to adjust yourself. See, everything has a different side. See, I'm getting that too. So it's like, someone who always changes what they want to fit what someone else is expecting or someone who portrays themselves to be a certain way because that's what they think everybody wants to see okay so that's like an example of using your gift or ability or using an energy for its shadow in its shadow way okay so shape shifting it can be used any anything can be used for light and for dark anything like understand that everything has a light and a dark everything it is a balance it is life okay so i feel like this is spirit saying like start to use it for good start to use it for your benefit this chameleon like energy okay thank you spirit and start to use your warrior energy again for your benefit. Don't just come down like a bull trying to crack everybody's head at the first sign. You know, like, no, you should be using your warrior strength. Okay. With honor and pride. Not pettiness and resentment. Okay. That's out. Thank you, spirit. Thank you. Uh, what else do we need to know? <clears throat> more about this energy the emperor tell us more about this shape shifting type energy what do we need to know so I'm getting a lot of masculine energy over here with the shapeshifter card you got the emperor and the sun the emperor is like the aries type uh masculine energy and the sun is leo that leo and sun energy you got the mother of pentacles which is some earth energy and the seven of wands which is more fire Yeah, so I'm definitely getting some uh, parental energy here, maternal and, you know, obviously paternal. The emperor is speaking to me of like that father energy. We got the mother of pentacles speaking to me of that mother energy. And I'm feeling like, yeah, see, this is really tying into the childhood trauma thing. Thank you, spirit, because they were, are really relaying the message here of... This is making me feel like there were times when you had to embody certain things just to survive. Thank you, spirit. And that is this very defensive um, standing ground energy with the seven of wands. See, this one is lit. This one's on fire, like lighting the way through the darkness. You see, that's the only light in this darkness. So the seven of wands energy is making me feel like it was really through the darkness you had to find your strength and i feel it was like leaving breaking through this situation and unfortunately that's that's a hard lesson that we have to learn is that our parents are not perfect they are literally just another pair of humans damaged hurt traumatized humans for the most part not everyone that is just trying to live this life and they, they've made mistakes. They were living in their shadow selves. Okay. And I really feel like this card, like this sun, is speaking of all the hope and the power and everything that we're doing. We, yes, we, the collective, us, you, hope, healing. Okay. This is a lot of 
strength and power in this card and it's just making me feel like this was the past okay and this might be your present because then now I'm, I'm i'm noticing this was the past like having to burn getting that torch and light your way out like you had to burn that motherfucker down just to get out that's the energy i'm feeling and then now i'm feeling like there's just an air of mm, dryness a little isolation but there's a lot of strength okay that tree is making me feel like ancestral roots it's making me feel family okay and that looks like an eclipse or something it, it, it looks like yeah that's an eclipse so that looks like when an eclipse is when the moon completely covers the sun and it creates this you know this visual thing and it is the energy is extremely unique and special and powerful but an important thing i think noted here is the inability to see something so basically that is work being done behind the sea the scenes your seeds that you've planted growing we can't see what goes on under the dirt but all we know is one day we wake up and there's a plant sticking out he been pushing through that dirt for a minute we just haven't seen it okay so that's that's what this energy is making me feel like in the present and this is making me feel like future energy undeniable success irrefutable growth and brightness and light healing anything you touch is going to be successful in everything you want and more but you have to nurture yourself you know this little baby is really standing out to me this tells me forgiveness Okay, the mother of pentacles is the queen of pentacles. That's that earth energy. This is that motherly energy, that wife energy, that healing nurturer that also is financially uh, stable or stable in the material, stable in the, in the physical. That's just it's telling me to forgive. You need to forgive yourself. You need to forgive your mother. You need to forgive your father. You need to forgive your grandparents. You need to, whoever raised you. You need to forgive. Okay. You have to. It's not for anyone else. It's for you. It's so that you can start to feel what that feels like. When you forgive them, you're going to be able to forgive yourself. Moving forward, Spirit, tell us about this warrior energy. Tell us about this warrior energy. What do we need to know? Woof, that came out all at once. That's interesting. Five cards came out at the same time. Mm. Yeah. So, first card out is death death so this is scorpionic energy all right which is the endings which is ending spirit is telling you there's things that you need to put in the dirt baby this thing is dead what is it doing flying around that is a skeleton you're not letting it go it is gone that hurt that pain has happened already it's done there's nothing you can do that situation that person is gone you have to let it go it does not serve you in this life in 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 this plane you have to let it go then we got the daughter of swords which is like the page the page of swords with death it's almost giving me like a almost a obsessive energy like you're not letting go it's like you keep watching something you keep replaying something over and over yeah my ears just started ringing that's what it is like you're not letting it go you see how that that owl is holding on to that sword it's something you need to let it go you need to chop it away but you're not
I'm, I'm sorry, please give me a minute. I'm just trying to go a little deeper with this energy and trying to see what is it. What is it that we're not letting go? We keep looking back, looking forward. Looking back, looking forward. Maybe why did this person abandon me? Moving forward, next we have the Four of Wands. And the Three of Wands. Daughter of Swords, which is another... I'm sorry, Daughter of Wands. Page. Another page. Mm. This is child energy. This is childlike energy. To see all these daughters, mother, daughter. This is interesting. This is very interesting why I even picked this deck. So, fire and air. A lot of fire. This is all fire here. Death. It's giving me, oh yeah. Okay, I got you. Hold on, give me one second. So, very interesting. See that snake on that warrior? And there it goes. This daughter. This is telling me there's a lot of healing that still needs to be taking place. There's another layer of skin that needs to be shed. And it's in regards to this childhood trauma. In regards to this mother, this father, this daughter. Excuse me. I'm sorry, please. Excuse me. This is energy. <laughs> it's because you're a boy. Oh, my dog is sleeping, so he might be making sounds. Sorry. It still relates to you. You get what I'm saying? I'm sorry. Let's go back. So the four of wands with the three of wands. Yeah, this is really making me feel like what didn't, what aren't we letting go? It is these foundations. It's what what we were based off of our, our security. This is definitely speaking of a home life and how unstable it was. I feel like there were many times where you were planning or maybe the family, excuse me, was planning to move or was planning to adjust or was just planning or waiting on something and it just never happened. It never happened. And now there's like an obsession or a predisposed energy. Like you don't even realize that you obsessively worry over a home. It's something about a home, a household home, home life. And I feel like Spirit is saying you need to be looking at things a different way. You need to let it go. Give me one second. Let's get some more clarification on this energy, Spirit. Tell me more of the daughter of swords and wands. Tell us more about this page energy. The hermit. So, uh, wow. So what this is making me feel like with this hermit card, which is Virgo energy, more earth energy over this, the daughter of swords and the daughter of wands, which essentially is the pages. This is telling me that I think that you're obsessing a little bit over maybe your the relationships of your siblings. It might be in regards to your siblings or your parents. And I feel like there's a little obsession of why you're not included. Why this didn't happen. Why aren't these people saying or doing these things? And I do feel like there's some solitude here. And again, there goes that flame. There goes that flame again in the darkness. 
So I feel like this is just another message of stop seeking outside validation. You are your source. You are your light. You need to do this alone. You need to stand on your own two feet and find the strength within and do it. And yes, alone, but no, you're not alone. Yes, we have our family. That's what our tribe is for, okay? That's what our spiritual team is for. That's what our positive, you know, support system is for. Um, support, not a main foundation, not a crutch, okay? You got to discern that. Spirit is really saying that you got to embody this hermit. Not in its negative aspects, but in its positive aspects, in its strength. Not the hermit that is obsessively alone and disassociates and isolates himself. The hermit that is his own strength. He is his own home, his own fortress, okay? Protected. I'm protecting myself. I'm lighting my way, okay? I'm learning, and I'm not afraid either. And this mother of swords, which is the queen of swords, again, holding that sword. But the difference is, instead of just flying with this kind of aimlessly, it's pointed down. She's ready, to, she's ready to put the hammer down, okay? She now is looking forward, directly forward at you. I know now I realize. Now I know what I need to do. Now I know I need to create my own. I need to destroy this old, outdated paradigm. It's done. I find strength in my new beginning. Amen. Thank you, spirit. Okay. That's the word on that. So let's go in with the uh, animal spirit cards, okay? And let's tap into some energy, okay? So you got the fish and the nightingale. Okay, thank you. So what this says to me right here with this fish, which is of course water, and this nightingale, which is air energy. This tells me that spirit is saying, go deep within. That's the moon crescent right here. And that speaks of the subconscious, intuition, okay? Your deep unknown within yourself, okay? And this fish is just majestically uh, and and like a master navigating these waters okay and then when this fish has done that and then we're stepping into this nightingale energy again i didn't even peep the moon is still here but now it's full now it's bright now you are you've you've climbed you're on top of the moon now and see how distant it looks here? Now it's enlarged. You, you're here. You're on top of it. And you are screaming your truth. You're singing it in the most elegant way to where it just harmonizes. Okay? You took the deep unknown and you turn it into a harmony. Into a beautiful song. Okay? We got this. We got this, guys. I love you <laughs> so, so much. This was a very different reading. It was deep, but I actually really enjoyed it. I hope that it makes sense and I hope that it resonated. And um, yeah, we're just going to leave it at that. So thank you guys again for watching, for subscribing to my channel. You got this warrior. Stay strong. Okay. Stay uplifted. Stay peaceful. Tap into your tribe. Reach out because we are here. And it's power and strength in numbers. I'm sending you love. I'm sending you light. And I'm sending you strength. Thank you for rocking with Star Mystic. I'm going to see y'all real soon. Peace.